Good day, awesome folks. Welcome to Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi Battle number 28. I can't believe it. That is four whole weeks worth of episodes now. Absolutely insane how fast the time has flown. Now, this battle is against the Red Ogre. I'm sure you guys know who that is. If you don't, check out his channel. The link to his uh, channel and to his Twitter will be in the description below. Now, Mr. Red Ogre, we had this battle quite some time ago, um, and it was originally supposed to be for your channel. You decided not to upload it. Um, I hope you don't mind that I am uploading it. Um, I haven't asked, but I hope it's cool. I couldn't find a Wi-Fi opponent today. Um, I am finding it harder and harder to get Wi-Fi opponents at the moment that I haven't already featured on the channel. Uh, so I might have to start repeating opponents soon. I hope you guys are okay with that. If not, come challenge me. Come at me, bras and brats, awesome folks. I am more than up for a challenge. Uh, so anyway, Mr. Red Ogre, sir, I hope you don't mind that I'm using this battle. If you really do, feel free to let me know and I might take it down and put up a replacement. Um, but... Yeah, let's kick into it, shall we? I am bringing the Choice Specs Exploud, our Heatran, Scrafty with the Assault Vest. I can't remember if that's Banded or Mega Sizzle. I think it's Choice Banded Sizzle. Uh, we have Togekiss with the Roosty Aura Sphere Shenanigansy Nurses. Uh, we have Azumarill with the uh, Belly Jet combo, obviously. Mr. Red Ogre himself is bringing Florgis, Feraligator, Trevenant, who I love and don't see enough of these days. Um, Cricketune. Which I was just so perplexed by. I was like, bro, whoa. Nobody used that thing in Gen 4 competitively. Never mind Gen 6. Um, but still, don't underestimate it. It is good. Uh, what is almost definitely going to be a Mega Absol and a Flygon. So a decent and interesting team. Not using all the OU staples that you see in practically every battle. So I, I was excited. I was very excited by this. Let's hit that play button and get straight down to business. Because this is a good battle, guys. You'll enjoy it. I'm sure. I'm like, totally sure you're gonna love it. So the Red Ogre is issuing a challenge. Obviously we're wearing all red. Obviously. Dust Devil, what a cool name. I was quite scared by the uh, Flygon lead, to be honest. It's fast, it's powerful, and it likes to use choice items. Uh, luckily it goes straight for the U-turn, doesn't do too much damage, which is surprising because this thing isn't the most offensive in the world. Although it is fairly bulky with the old Hutch Pit. Okay, in comes Trevenant. He probably switched it in thinking that we were gonna go for a Boom Burst. Um, and that he would be able to completely negate that with his ghostiness. But no, because we're scrappy! Choice Specs, boom burst to the face. I don't really think the crit mattered, to be honest. Choice Specs, stab, boom burst. Goodbye. You know, not many things can take it that aren't ridiculously specially bulky. In comes Big Bouquet, the specially bulky beast. There's not much point in staying in and going for boom burst against this thing. It would do decent damage, but it'd be able to recover more damage than we can do. So we send in Talon Who, um, four times resistant to fairy type moves, also with a super effective flash cannon and the ability to set up rocks and trap this thing in with Magma Storm. So it seemed like the best bet, in my opinion. We do, unfortunately, lose some special attack. How unlucky is that, really? Especially when we're going up against a specially defensive beast. Luckily he withdraws, so whatever he switches in is not going to be too happy. In comes Dust Devil. Now that is a really good switch in because, obviously, Talon Who does not like Earthquake. Not even a little. Talon Who is scared. You see when there's an Earthquake going off, Talon Who hides under the table. The re a really big table. And just cowers there with some popcorn until it's all over. So we obviously have to switch out here. But who do we send in? I can't remember. We send in Shelly, of course, to completely negate the Earthquake. Which, um, the Red Ogre told me afterwards that he wasn't playing at his best in this battle, um, because it, he'd been out of battling for a little while. He'd taken a couple of weeks out for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, obviously they switch in floor just to take the obvious special hit that is about to come their way. So the Heat Wave goes off. It's not going to do much. It's not Stab. You know, <laughs> Big Bouquet there takes special hits like an absolute champ. With that lefty's recovery, we may as well have not attacked at all that time. <laughs> so, we decide to stay in and try and go for flinches to try and force this thing out and to also scout it out to see what sort of moves, what sort of set it might be running because we know we can take most hits from this thing. Even if he tox uh, uh, even if he decides to toxic us, we can just get rid of it with heal bell, no problem. So we keep going for air slashes, keep trying to scout out what moves our opponent is using, try and go for some flinches maybe, rack up a little bit of damage. Not that it really matters, because he's, he's left his ing off most of the damage we do to him anyway. So bulky. This thing, I need a Florgis. I really need to bleed, to bleed? I need to bleed a Florgis. His blood will make me strong. No, I need to breed a Florgis. Seriously, that thing is so powerful. Uh, now, I know Doom Bunny can take a Moonblast without too much of a problem. Um, it doesn't take it anywhere near as well as I was expecting, but well enough uh, that I'm not too worried. Uh, now, this thing obviously is a powerful physical attacker, Mr. Doom Bunny. But, the problem is, after that damage, 
we can't go for a belly drum. So I decided to switch out Doom Bunny until we have a good opportunity to go for a belly drum in the future. Now we know the Moon Blast is coming, so obviously Talon, who is the best switch in, he's going to take that up. He's going to eat that Moon Blast. Nom nom nom. Gave me that lovely Moon Energy. Now we've already got the Stealth Rocks up, so his, his, um, his ability to and willingness to keep switching is diminished. Uh, although it would be really crazy of him to stay in against this Talon Who, so obviously he's going to withdraw anyway. Who do you predict, guys? Yeah, it's Dust Devil! Right now we're just switching. Switching, 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 switching. Do we stay in? Yeah, we do! We went for the Magma Storm because we knew Dust Devil was coming in. And we knew that Flash Cannon wouldn't have done anywhere near enough. But, as well, we knew that Magma Storm wouldn't be able to KO this thing. But, it traps Dust Devil in. See? So it can't escape! <laughs> now we can safely switch in and destroy this thing's soul. Unless, of course, it uses u turns I'm sure U-turn negates that kind of thing. Yep. 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 Wow! <laughs> But we do have the Rocky Helmet on this thing, so that means that it's going to take some residual damage. Not even bad at all. That thing is at negligible health now. River Riot incoming. Feraligator is a beast. I don't care what anybody says. Feraligator is a powerful Pokemon. You get that thing, you know, maybe jolly with max speed. Get a couple of D-dances off. <laughs> Forget about it. The thing's fairly bulky for a powerful attacking Pokemon like that. And, you know, it... It resists most priority moves. You know, Bullet Punch, Ice Shard... Resisted. You know, fair enough, Mac Punch and Vacuum Wave aren't resisted, but still, come on now. You can't take it out of priority very easily. Um, if it gets a couple of D-Dancers off, it's probably going to outspeed you and hit you damn hard. Like, check out this Ice Punch, for instance. That did a lot of damage. Doom Bunny is bulky as hell, and he resists that move. But we get the Citrus. I love Citrus Berry. It's such a useful item. In comes the Waterfall. Now, the question is, did we decide to go for a Belly Drum? Were we that stupid? I bloody hope not. I can't remember right now. It's been about two weeks since we had this battle. No, we didn't! We went for the play rough, the play rough, and even without the belly drum, that's gonna rip this giant alligator's tail off and beat him with it. Well, not literally, because that's a bit violent. I would never do that. I would never order that. In comes the Kikachu. Now, I was aware that this thing learned Giga Drain. A little bit worried about that, but I just thought, screw it, let's stay in, go for Aqua Jet, try and get as much damage off as possible, and we do a decent amount of damage. Uh, it decides to go for the substitute, probably thinking that we'd switch, fearing the grass type move, um, or that it would take that move a lot better than it did. Unfortunately for him, though, another Aqua Jet is going to get rid of the sub, he's not going to be able to sub again, uh, he's not very likely to be able to KO us in one hit, and we're going to be able to priority Aqua Jet into the base. Uh, yeah, we should take this Aerial Ace quite well. Wait, no? Of course! Sorry, I'm so stupid, I forgot how little HP we had left. Noob alert. The in comes awesome, obviously he's got the priority bullet punch, so this thing can't really do a gosh darn thing. Yeah, it is Mega Sizzle, silly me. This thing cannot do a gosh darn thing against Sizzle. Bullet punch to the face, and that's going to be the KO. It goes for power-up punch. I applaud that. I do applaud. I mean, you never know what we're going to go for. We could have easily tried... Yeah, see, we tried to set up. So they're trying to set up too, maybe hoping to outspeed, get a powerful, boosted move off on us, take as much HP off as possible. Um, he doesn't know that we don't have Roost on this thing, but that's actually quite a good strategy to take down this sizzle because we don't have Roost. I am thinking of getting rid of Defog for Roost, though. That sustain would be really useful. So, ow, the edge comes in, and this thing could be a threat. I mean, it's got the access to fighting-type moves, sword stance, priority sucker punch. It's powerful as hell, uh, but, but the thing about that is... He's up against an already plus two mega sizzle with bullet punch. That's not good. Nobody wants to be up against that, really. Maybe a Heatran. <laughs> so this bullet punch is just going to wreck lives. Out the edge. Nope. That edge has been blunted, friend. In comes Dust Devil. Not much Dust Devil can do. He does probably carry a super effective fire type move, uh, but it's not going to matter. Plus two bullet punch. Wrecks lives. Splits up families, destroys souls. In comes Big Bouquet, and obviously we know what's going to happen here. Plus two bullet punch uh, against this absolutely beastly fairy type. You might think, hey, it might live it, it might live it. Nope, not even a little. Not even a tiny chance of it surviving that hit. That's a KO faux show. And that, friends, is going to be the battle. We won one! Huzzah! <laughs> Yeah, so that was a great battle, Red Ogre. I actually really enjoyed that. Um, I made some fortunate plays, uh, 
to be honest, I made a couple of good predictions, a couple of fortunate plays, but I think if we rematched, then it'd be much closer. You were, you know, out of the loop for a couple of weeks, you know, you were rusty on competitive battling, um, and I was lucky. I made a few lucky moves, I made a few good moves, but I also made a few lucky moves. Um, so yeah, I'd love to rematch again. If you do end up watching this Red Ogre, I'd love to rematch sometime when you're feeling more on top form. Um, and hopefully I'll be in good form as well, because I've been playing so badly lately. You can tell this is an old battle, because I won. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for stopping by, guys. I hope you enjoyed this super short Wi-Fi battle, but it was super fun as well. Uh, have a sizz awesome day. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment down below if you did or didn't enjoy, and tell me why. Um, I love you all. Thanks for stopping by. I couldn't do this without you. Mwah! Kisses! <laughs> what? <laughs>